Hi, I'm Larry Janeski. Happy New Year. It's January 5th. We're here on a very cold day and we're going to replace a window today. This window that we're going to replace is an aluminum frame window and aluminum conducts heat very, very quickly. It's the least energy efficient type of window frame that there is. And we have an aluminum window frame, aluminum window sash. And when we shoot these windows with a thermal imaging camera, we can see that the frame is desperately cold. I mean, really, really cold, almost the same temperature as the outside. So uh, very energy inefficient windows. But we also have a, th a thermal pane glass here. And so we have two panes of glass, but the seal somewhere around the perimeter of this glass has uh, failed and air is allowed to get inside in between the glass. And when that happens, the moisture that's in the air uh, condenses and forms a fog. You can see there's a fog and, and uh, water droplets on the inside of this glass. Very distracting, uh, very ugly uh, from the inside. So it's not uh, something that anybody would be happy with. So um, we also uh, don't have uh, very energy efficient glass here. This is uh, clear glass. It's not low E glass. Uh, low E glass has a, ref uh, a reflective film uh, on it that will reflect heat uh, in the winter, reflects the indoor heat uh, back inside. In the summer, it reflects the outdoor heat uh, back outside and lets the visible light through the window. We also have an option of argon filled gas in between the panes of the glass and the argon will, um, doesn't transmit heat uh, as easily as the air would in between the glass. So it makes a more energy efficient uh, glass itself. Now we know that a window is the weak spot thermally in a wall assembly. The wall may have uh, R13 insulation if properly installed uh, and without air gaps and air leaks and so forth. Uh, we have an R13 wall, but a window might only be R1 or 2. So the window is going to be the coldest spot in the wall assembly. This is the new window that Dr. Energy Saver will be installing today. This window has low E glass. Now low E stands for low emissivity. And if we take a look here, we can see that um, what we're going to be doing with the low E glass is reflecting heat while letting visible light through. So only a small fraction of the solar heat will come through the low E glass in the summertime. And in the wintertime, uh, it will reflect heat from the indoors back inside rather than letting it through uh, as well. So there's a, a coating on the inside of the glass that gives it a little tint that allows that to happen. Let visible light through, but stop the heat, the infrared uh, radiation, that part of the solar spectrum from going through the glass. Here's two samples of, of different glass. And now the one on the right is clear glass and the one on the left is low E glass. So you can see it's a little bit tinted, kind of like sunglasses. So uh, we can see that our low E glass is a little bit tinted, but that's gonna give us a big benefit in energy efficiency. We also have another rating called solar heat gain coefficient. This window is 0.33. The lower the number, the better. And this measures how well the window is at blocking the heat from the sun. We have a visible transmittance rating, that's 0.56. It lets 56% of the visible light through there and uh, in the process of reflecting heat will also block some of your visible light like sunglasses would. But the important rating is the U factor on this window. And the U factor measures how overall energy efficient this window is. And this U value is 0.3, which is very good, very uh, efficient window. Um, the U value is the inverse of R value. So if we take uh, 0.3 and divide it by 1 or into 1, we get 3.33. Uh, That's the R value of this window, 3.33. If we had a U factor of uh, 0.5, for example, then 1 divided by 0.5 is 2, we have an R value of 2. So compared to a window with a U factor of 0.5, this one with a U factor of 0.3, we actually have 
uh, two-thirds better energy efficiency overall with this window compared to a, um, a window with a U-factor of 0.5. We also see that we have argon gas in between these two panes of glass. So the argon is more energy efficient. It's an inert gas. It does uh, not allow the heat to be transmitted through that airspace in between the glass. So it can go, the heat can go from this glass to the air between the glass to the next pane of glass to the inside and vice versa in the winter back out. But the argon will uh, help uh, prevent that uh, heat flow. So that is a, uh, a uh, option and a characteristic of uh, high efficiency windows. So this is an uh, energy efficient window. Uh, it does uh, qualify for uh, tax credits. It's, it's energy efficient enough to get tax credits, 0.3 uh, or less, if those credits were available uh, in your area. And um, this is gonna make a big difference for this homeowner. You know, oftentimes people complain of drafts from their windows, and that may be true. You may have leaky windows, but uh, we know that glass is the coldest spot in a wall assembly. The glass will always be colder than the wall. And so if the glass is cold in the winter, we get what we call a convective loop, that the warm air in the room touches the glass and it cools down. When the air cools down, it sinks and it goes down to the floor, goes across the floor, up the interior wall where it gets warmed, and then it goes down again. And so here we are sitting next to the window and we feel a draft and we think that the window is leaking. Now again, it may be leaking, but we also have a convective loop from cold glass. And this is why high performance glass in an energy efficient window is important because uh, if we can keep that glass warmer and it's not so cold, we get less of a convective loop. Okay, so we have to put this window in and there's a difference between replacing a window and a replacement window. When you replace a whole window, you take the frame out, you take the, the exterior trim out, and you put a whole new window in and it's gotta be flashed properly at the top, at the sides. You gotta bring the siding back in and the exterior trim, that's replacing a window. But a replacement window is where we have a window like this, you would pull the sashes out, pull the stop molding out, and slide this unit in to the existing jam. The frame is set in place. The frame is then shimmed to the proper position. The frame is squared by taking a tape measure and measuring the dimension between the bottom corner and the opposite diagonal upper corner. And then we take the same measurement on the other two corners to make sure that they're equal. If they're not equal, then we'll adjust the frame before we screw it in to make sure that that frame is square so that the operational sashes will slide without binding. And screws are used to hold it securely in place. The shim space around the window is foamed. The inside of the frame is caulked and the outside of the frame is carefully caulked to make it airtight. Our aluminum will serve to trim the outside of the window and cover the old window frame. And we carefully caulk that aluminum and make sure that there's gonna be no water leaks. Well, there's another job well done by Dr. Energy Saver. If you need windows in your house, high efficiency, energy efficient windows, or if you need insulation, or you have rooms that are uncomfortable in the wintertime that don't seem to warm up, uh, perhaps you have uh, rooms that are too hot, or a whole floor, the upper floor that's too hot in the summertime, it won't cool down. Or if you wanna just lower your fuel bills and your electric bills, call Dr. Energy Saver. We can help you. Yeah.